the Hunger Dome. Eh, sure, I could eat. I think I misunderstood what was going on here. Now, I've specifically avoided doing anything on Crowfall while it's been in early access, mostly because I don't want to give people a false impression of the game by covering it too early. But as time has gone on, I'm finding it harder and harder to ignore. If you don't know, Crowfall is a Kickstarter PvP-oriented MMO that has built up quite a bit of hype for itself. And I could hazard a guess as to why. For one, it's one of the few indie MMOs that doesn't look like it came out of the early 2000s. And two... I don't know, maybe they just had good marketing. Yeah, that must have been it. Now, the devs are actually set to release a large update to the alpha here in a few weeks that introduces the open world to the game. So why do a video on Crowfall now, you ask? Why not just wait a few weeks? Good question! That big world update is coming just in time for the Revelation and MU Legends beta. But really, the bigger idea I had was to compare how the game feels now versus how it feels when it becomes an open world. So let's get to it! Now, the Hunger Dome has been around for quite some time. I think I first played it like a year ago, but it's definitely become more polished since then. There's now more classes, more environmental textures, and the game runs a bit better, unless I try to open a menu of any kind. Holy moly, that's some lag. Maybe that's just my computer though, who knows. In this test, we had seven classes. The Confessor, the Knight, the Legionnaire, the Champion, the Ranger, the Druid, and the Myrmid, Myrmid, Myrmidon, Myrmidon, Myrmidon. Minotaur, fuck it. The Confessor is a fire-wielding sin absolver, complete with fire tornadoes. Man, fire tornadoes will make confession so much cooler and a lot scarier. Then there's the Knight, who is probably the least interesting of the bunch. He's a guy with a sword and a shield moving on. The Legionnaire is a super cool centaur, jack of all trades. He can DPS, tank, and kind of heal. I like him. Namely because of the horse part. I want to ride one. Put that in the game, devs. The champion is a big guy with an axe. I didn't play that one because that's really not my thing. The ranger is a bow-wielding death machine. Or she can switch it up and dual-wield some daggers for close quarters action. She is also another favorite of mine. The druid, which can heal with the forces of life. However, this has to be balanced out by dealing damage with the forces of death. If you don't, you'll die, like I did. That seriously confused me for a bit. And the minotaur. He's a big bull with two axes. Don't try to milk him. Now, I really could go into more detail and break down each class's skills, but they're likely going to change a bit before beta, so what's the point? Anyway, the Hunger Dome is a team-based deathmatch, where your team's goal is to kill the other teams. Sometimes simplicity is the best. The edges of the arena, or map, or area, whatever you want to call this, will slowly move in towards the keep in the center. Go outside the edges, and you'll die. So eventually, everyone will have to work their way into the center. However, you will want to use this time to kill the various NPCs littering the area for new armor and weapons to help you kill your enemy. Or in my case, be killed by your enemy. When an actual group of people are working together and planning and strategizing, hey, there's no coordinating allowed in an online game. That is cheating, namely because because I'm not included and that's not cool. After I played the Hunger Dome, my main thought was, I think that's one of the main things that will hold true for Crowfall as it makes its way through Alpha and towards release. Those who find a solid group and work together will be the ones who triumph. The random people who don't know what they're doing and just run around like idiots will likely fail pretty quick. However, maybe I'm wrong and the open world will change that. But this is what the Hunger Dome taught me. We'll just have to wait and see when the big world update hits in the next few weeks. So I'll be back, Crowfall, and we'll see just how far you've come. Oh, f you, you smart jerks. Cooperation. You should be ashamed of yourselves. And that was my thoughts on the Hunger Dome. Crowfall's come a long way. Let's hope it can keep it up. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button for future videos. I put out a new one every week. I've also put another video for you to watch right up here. If you want, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook, or you can come chat with us on Discord. And if you really want to help the channel, you can donate to me on Patreon like these other amazing people. We would work well together as a group. If you don't count all the infighting and betrayal and backstabbing and political assassinations and cheating and